2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hi Luke, really looking forward to some exciting play from our featured group today. This player has hinted at a rivalry with their playing partner this week. Well Henny, it sounds like they're trying to beat young Will Zalatoris. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Oh, as am I. Wiley Will found his way onto the tour in a very unusual manner and he kept himself there. The pressure is not too much for him. He can handle anything. He's a fierce young man, a young man of the future. And I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with his game. Where can you beat him? Where can you see any of those defenses? Uh, he's very confident. And as I said, Luke, he can take that pressure. Yeah, well, he might be slight in stature. I think he's 160 pounds ringing wet, but he's big on confidence and bold with his iron play. There is not a flag he won't fire at, so if you want to beat Will Zalatoris, you better go hole hunting. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. A birdie putter waits. Yeah, this is looking nice. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Bubba Watson currently leading the event as we head to the next hole. Let's check in with our man on the ground, John McCarthy, for our course report. John, what will Foxhole Golf Links be serving the players this week? Well, Luke, I think Fox Home Golf Links is going to be serving up some birdies, maybe a side of eagle. Uh, the course really is right in front of these players, and what you see is what you get. Uh, not a whole lot of tricks to it, so I think people are going to be firing at these flags all week, and uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy that. Hopefully the folks at home will as well. Most golfers these days, Rich, are, are quite generic style players. It's that hit it as far as you can, knock it on the green, try and hold some parts. But with Bubba Watson, we just got the artist back in the game, didn't we? We had someone who was prepared to do whatever it needed to be to get that ball in the hole. He's just astonishing to watch you know to me luke i think bubba was born in the wrong era i think he would have been better served with persimmon woods balada golf balls and and blades and i think that he would be an even bigger impact on the game than he currently is if that's even possible i watch what he does with the modern equipment and it's mind-blowing he's one of the few players luke that i will actually go in the driving range and watch hit golf shots because it is so fun to watch him aim 30 yards left and just try and hit these big sweeping hooks and fades and every I mean it's just unbelievable what he can do with the golf ball his eye hand coordination is simply the best in the game he's currently tied for fifth this hole is a par three and after that par they're looking for something good here Going with the hybrid. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Okay, steady now. Five feet coming up to the cup. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. 
Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Here's Will Zalatoris. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. That's really not what we were looking for. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for sixth. Getting ready to play their third. He's two shots back. Going with the nine iron, I think. Yeah, this is lovely. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Great touch. Big power saver coming up for this fella. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, you've made it. What a play. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Bubba Watson, our leader in this one. Here we are at the fifth hole of Foxholm Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. And thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. That's some good golf right there. Second shot here on the fifth. Going with the eight iron here. That's a good looking shot there. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Oh, what a shame it didn't drop, but that looked good the whole way. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. This is their look at birdie. Ooh. Putting for par. Right over the spot they were looking at. Now oh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Opportunity lost, and one they needed to take advantage of, sitting just two back of the lead. 
The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Next up is this par four hole. <laughs> Tee shot is looking good here. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Two strokes off the lead. Opting for the six iron. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Yeah, well played. Well, this would be a good putt to make to move into the top five. This is a par putt. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That was special. Eleven feet to the cup. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Ooh, just missed that one. A par putt on the table. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. This would be a great up and down. Ooh, that almost went down. Ah, that's a touch of class. Judging it beautifully. So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. John Rahm, your leader, as we head to the next hole. We've reached the eighth hole. And choosing the eight iron here. Well struck. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Just didn't drop. Just a short putt remaining here. Currently one under for the day.
as we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links. The players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right hand side. And if you hit it right of those trees come into play, bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green. But what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Well, Rich, it's become a bit of a new age thing on tour. Um, a couple of rivalries that heat up on social media. We've seen a number of other players that call each other out. Uh, what have you made of this social media age? Well, you better have thick skin if you're going to get into the social media arena. Thankfully, they didn't have it when I was out there on tour because I don't know if I could handle it. I certainly uh, couldn't be trusted with it back then. But I think if you're going to go into that arena, you have to treat social media like it's just something that it's fun to do. If you, if you do go down that rabbit hole in social media, you better be prepared for the consequences. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. And this putt is to move into the top five. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt to move into the top ten. Just a simple tap in for Birdie. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup. A chance to get two back on the course here. This one for Eagle. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Rich, this player's just a few shots back with the last nine to play. Did you prefer to be the Greyhound or the Bunny? I want to be the Greyhound. I'm sprinting away if I possibly can. This player's three back. They need to start sprinting. Three wins already this season. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. And this part to move into a tie for third. Well, 
Oh, so close. Four feet to the cup. And down she goes. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. And after a par at the last, just to maybe take a step in the right direction here. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? Second shot here on the 11th. And he's safely on the green. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And after that effort, that's how it looks. The 12th hole at Foxholm Golf Links is a strong par three measuring 216 off the back tees. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that green side bunker. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Oh, just missed. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Ooh. That'll sting a bit. Important part here. They make it. They're into the top five. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th.
The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Another fine looking strike this one. It'll find the green. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And this is a familiar sight. John Rahm leads this tournament. Let's begin the 14th. Sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Well, it's a little deeper into the rough, but it's sitting nicely. Good shot there. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. And with only four holes to go in this event, Luke, this is a good opportunity, big moment for this player. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Going with the eight iron here. This one heading towards the green. Wow, showing Will Zalatoris that this rivalry is indeed not to be taken lightly. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? If my eyes didn't see it, I wouldn't have believed it. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Welcome to the T of a par four.
That a boy. Good shot. Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. Yes, the only thing that could ruin it now is a triple bogey. Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, a little off the target with that one. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. As we move along to the next hole, they're currently tied at the top of the leaderboard with John Rahm. We have a short par four ahead of us here. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? That'll work, that's fine. Currently minus five. Currently tied for top spot. These are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. Little birdie look in here. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will move him to six under par. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. OK, steady now. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Let's take a look at the current standings. All some real excitement running through the veins as this player tees off their final hole for the event, tied for the lead. Luke, there are some anxious moments out there. It would not shock me at all to see this go to a playoff. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Oh, that was pure. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make.
and they've done it. It puts a smile on your face to see someone live a lifelong dream. Absolutely. I, it's hard to believe that this player already got four victories on the season. Top of the game right now. It's impressive. But Henny, that was some impressive play. To take down a rival of that caliber and to win the event, what a performance. Yes, Luke, no one could catch this player, let alone their rival. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.